Hello YouTube, Tim here. I've got the Manchu 2.0 bow and I'm going to try drawing it in a slightly different way to determine the force draw curve. We're not only trying to find a peak draw force here, but I want to find out exactly how plump it is, how convex the force draw curve is. I'm going to use a method that was used by Adam Karpovich when he was testing some of his Turkish bows. It'd be draw two inches, record, and go back down. Draw two inches, record, attempting to not do what I, I normally do and slowly just sort of ratchet it up. Because you're going to get a, a sort of warped sense of exactly how much the bow is drawn. Because it's going to be losing strength the whole while. So let's just go ahead and give it a shot. And uh, yeah, it'll, it'll be very interesting. On a very small side note, I do want to cant this limb forward just a teensy, tiny bit to match that one. The tiller is great, but if I can go ahead and change that, I think not only will it store a tiny bit more energy, it'll look a little bit better too. But it does draw, it's a good bow. So starting off here at six inch, it's a perfect six inch, excuse me, brace height. So, we're in kilograms, let's go back to pounds. Okay, so from six to eight. 15.9. 15.9 pounds at, 10, at uh, eight inches, that's pretty good. Okay, now to 10. 23.9. Twenty-eight point nine five, and then it actually did go to twenty-nine. Fourteen, if I'm counting correctly. Thirty-four point one five. Sixteen. 38.9 20 inches Now as always, I'm measuring from the belly of the bow from the it handled the pivot point Forty eight point three five twenty two inches fifty three point three five twenty four. Final draw to 28 inches. Now, one other benefit of this is as I'm drawing, letting down, drawing, letting down, not only am I flexing, it's simulating how it would be used. You could also achieve that by, say, doing a good full draw about three times, and you should expect that the bow isn't going to lose substantially more just on a draw by draw basis. It's been worked in, warmed up, so to speak. You're still, if you hold it, it's still going to lose strength. But Final draw, 28 inches. Seventy one point four five pounds. Great. I'd really 
like to draw this farther, but I've got a little surprise. I'm going to be sending this off to somebody else as a sort of treat. I don't know. I don't know. And, and fun for me because they have a longer draw length. I don't know if how well it'll do at a slightly longer draw length, but I'd like to find out. So I have that data. So at least at 28 inches, I can produce a forced draw curve. I'm very tempted to go beyond. What do you think? 29 inches? Shall we try it? Looks good, but yeah, looks good. 72.25. It had already been there for a little while, so it might have been about 73, 74. I think this could very well go to 30 inches, but man, it looks good looking at the tiller. It doesn't look uneven, it doesn't look like it's super strained, and I know that the PVC can handle. 70 pounds, no problem. I've made 52 inch bows that take uh, about that weight. However, the unique profile with the, the reflex, the deflex, it makes me a little bit nervous. Okay, let's give it a shot. I'll take this very carefully and a little slow so we can get it all the way. If this works, Mr. John Bovey, this bow is coming to you. Gosh, this is killing me. It did it. Let me come back and record the draw weight. Seventy-five pounds. Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm really not only nervous that the bow's gonna break. But then I'm standing there under it trying to read it and where a piece is going to fly. Right into my head, probably. So, whew, okay. At least under these conditions, and it is chilly outside, so the bow was at room temperature, but it's cooling. Should draw approximately 75 pounds at 30 inches and not explode. All right, John, here comes the bow. I want to see what you can do with it. I'm got, I, uh, I have already chronographed the bow, but... Unfortunately, it was very, very hasty conditions. The, the weather, it's raining, and I wasn't able to get a very good read. Certainly not at a full draw.